How's it going, my focus buddies? It's Jugs, and today I am here playing, well, reading the virtual novel Connected Hearts again. So let's continue from where we left off last time. I can't remember where we left off long, last time because it's such a long time ago. But we're gonna load it. Her words came back to my mind. She said I have forgotten something. I don't think there could be a memory that could make sense of all of this. But even knowing that it could be a lie to say that I don't have an incontrollable curiosity. Gary? I was lost in my mind when suddenly I hear someone whisper my name behind me. I jump surprised. My heart stops and my blood turns to ice. I instantly turn around by reflex, finding someone that simply shouldn't be there. In front of my eyes, a huge mirror had appeared. It's even bigger than me, reflecting all of my body. I stare at my own reflex, hypnotised by that image. As if it was the first time I had ever seen a mirror, I look at my reflex, copying my movements without mistake. I move my hands, my legs, my head and my legs. The reflection does exactly the same. However, there's something special in that image. The person in the mirror is the right one, but the place where it is, is not the same. Oh, I get it. So they're looking into the mirror and they heard someone call their name, but they're looking at them in a different location. Yeah. Okay. My room does not reflect in the mirror. Instead, the background belongs to another house made of wood and with the looks of being abandoned for many years. I simply can't talk. Not a single word comes to my mind that could begin to describe the feeling of wonder, surprise and insecurity that invades me at that moment. It's so incredible, so impossible, something out of a dream. But that is why it's something that I can't control or even understand. Is it even safe to be in the same room as that mirror? I don't know, however I can't stop staring at it. Should I look at it? Oh, we get to choose! This didn't happen in the last one, should we look at it closer or should we get out of it? I should get out of here or look at it? I'm gonna look at it closer, obviously. Enchanted by the mysterious presence of the mirror, I start to walk towards it. Before I knew it, I was standing right next to it. I blink while looking at it in silence. There's something incredible in it. Not just that, something beautiful too. I don't think before extending a hand, touching the glass with the tip of my fingers. It feels like I'm touching the surface of a frozen lake. I feel like I only need to press a little harder to get inside the mirror. Cross it as if I was jumping into a pool. Should I try it? Why not? Jump. I'm not aware of what I was thinking until my feet moved, but then it was too late to stop. I opened my eyes, astonished at what, seeing what I was doing. Someone planted an, an idea into my mind and I accepted it as mine. So easily it was scary. Just seconds ago I was frightened of the mirror, and now I was being consumed by it, falling deeper and deeper into an unknown place. Oh, so we actually crossed the mirror. This is so cool. I cannot wait. I close my eyes, now unable to see me fall. I want to scream, but no sound comes out for me. It was as if I was screaming out of space, but there, but there is air here. I was not wrong. Oh, jeez. No, I was not. No, I was wrong. It's not in the air, but the water that surrounds me. I'm sinking as if someone fallen. I'm sinking as if someone had changed an anchor to my leg so fast I confused it without. I confused it with falling. I could not read today. I've got my glasses on and everything, and I still can't read. The sensation doesn't go away for many long seconds that seem eternal. I lose myself falling from the world I be I belong to another unknown one. That's my impression of me falling. <laughs> I don't know why I did that. Suddenly I open my eyes, gasping with surprise at the same time I wake up almost jumping. I was about to scream as if waking up from a nightmare. I would say it was just that, if it wasn't for a single detail. I rub my forehead, feeling, finding small drops of sweat. Then I take a deep breath, closing my eyes for a moment. My heart still beats anxious, but then slowly relaxes it. Nice painting. I love that painting. All the music changed. 
Ooh. Ooh, scary music. I can see around me, which is decent. When I opened my eyes again, I realized I'm not in my room. I haven't woken up yet from the strange nightmare. Instead, I find myself in an old building made of wood. What is this place? I murmured, confused while looking around. Ignoring how I got here, there didn't seem to be anything strange with this place. I find myself in a dormitory. There are many beds, all of them small and painted with bright colors. That makes me think they belong to children. I scratch my head before standing up. Where I am? Does it mean where am I? <laughs> where I am? Where I am? Oh my god, where am I? <laughs> it's meant to be where am I, I think. Where am I? There's nobody here <laughs> to listen to my questions. The curiosity is too much to stay quiet. I didn't realise before what the beds had names on them. Embroya. I read aloud. With the curiosity, I look at the others. Mary. And I suddenly stop, opening my eyes, wide astonished. My heart jumps when I read the next name. Gary. What is this? I can't explain why it has my name. The only answer that comes to my mind is that someone was waiting for me and prepared it. But in that case, it is too small. I shake my head confused and look at the bed next to it. In so little time, I'm hit by a new surprise that makes me tremble to the core. The name on it was crossed. There is another one below that I instantly recognise. Alice. <gasps> is that his? Is that his soulmate? Oh, jeez. It's her. It must be her who brought me here. I said with complete confidence. Then I looked down, trying to think on what to do next. Soon after, I rubbed my head, forehead, feeling quite stupid. I first need to get out of here and then find a way back home. Of course, I said to myself, as if it was so easy. When I leave the bedroom, I arrive to a hallway that connects with two other doors, I guess more rooms, and some stairs that go down to the first floor. I try to open the doors without resolve, the soon the only option I have left is to go down. At the end of the stairs there is a door. When I open it, I see what seems to be in the living room. To be the living room. I step inside, then I look around with curiosity, discovering a the, the double door. I cannot read today. It's honestly really annoying. I cannot read. I'm crossing my legs, sorry. I'm not doing anything. I'm just crossing my legs. It's the exit. It has to be. I almost jumped excited with that thought. But happiness would not last much. After looking at it closely, I realised something. That door was never going to open. There wasn't anything keeping it closed. I'm just looking at a fake door. It's only part of a wall disguised as a door. This can't be, I said after meaninglessly trying to open it. Then I shake my head. I'm wrong. This is very possible. After all, I'm inside another world. This world behind a mirror. I can't judge, judge it with the same logic as mine. I shouldn't. I take a deep breath before letting out a long sigh. If I want to escape, I guess I could try the same mirror that got me in. Now the problem is finding it. Gary? Suddenly I feel a chill. All of my body turns to ice when I hear someone call my name, whispering it with a creepy voice behind my back. I instantly turn around, finding some finding surprise how from nowhere. Not one, but four of the doors are open appeared. What's going on? I said confused before getting closer. Each door has a name written. The Forest of Whispers, Trip to the Deep, Kingdom of the Sun, and the Forest Castle. I read the names loud, unable to remember even hearing any of them. They're completely new to me. However, the mystery doesn't end there. Three other doors are open, and the last, Forgotten Castle, is blocked by three big lock pads. I'm never going to be able to break them, I said with, rec with resignation before sighing. The chains look very solid. But if there are locks, it means because they're protecting something. It can't be just a coincidence to have three open doors and three lock pads. There must be something valuable behind that door. I'm not convinced that I am right. Then I stare at the open doors. Which one should I open first? Oh, let's go to... No, not Wishbiz. Not Wishbiz. Don't go to a forest of Wishbiz. <laughs> Trip to the deep, so the kingdom of the sun. Let's go to the kingdom of the sun. 
tell this is made by someone because it's got that like leave me alone bandy gum it's got that like spelling mistakes and stuff and it really makes me amazed at how someone could come up with such a good story and i'm just so happy that someone could make something like this i really appreciate it i love it i love this so much i love this novel suddenly i wake up with the sun hitting me in the face i make a disgusted face at the same time i cover my eyes with one hand my head is spinning i feel completely lost i can't even describe it but i don't know where is up and where is down i don't know if i'm standing or laying down but if i'm in mobile or moving at great speed it should be simple you wake up in your bed after a long dream however there is nothing simple about this awakening it's like i'd fallen asleep in a maelstrom Ooh, new word thankfully i don't feel nausea but thinking too much about it was starting to produce a little bit of it i take deep breaths trying to calm my mind and i force myself to open my eyes not being prepared for what i would find i couldn't even imagine where i could be but i didn't want to wait anymore It was then, when I finally opened my eyes, that the sensation of confusion and nausea disappeared completely. It was sudden. They left me in just the time it took me to open my eyelids and see what was truly before me. Uh, I exclaimed, confused, that I am in what appears to be a park. I was sleeping placidly in the grass until the phone, until the sun shone on my face. However, far from being comforting, that confused me even more. The pack got the pack? I'm starting to turn the The pack? Go to the pack? The park I'm in now is no any The park I am now is no any not any park. It looks very ordinary in plain sight. There are trees, benches for people to sit, a sandbox, slides and swings to play. Not only that, but there are also people. I can barely believe it. My heart jumps when I realise that I open my mouth wide from the incredulity fragility, holding my breath longer than I should. There's people around, but not human beings, at least they won't seem to be. It's hard for me to describe it. I blink as I think in the right words, never looking away from them. They appear to be mannequins with a smiling metal mask on their faces, but they don't seem to be made of wood. It's more like they are made of mist, as if they were ghost, ghost dolls. The clothing they're wearing is very different from the actual world. Dresses and suits more proper than for a fairy tale. And some even wearing a crown on top of their heads. They play and laugh with a frozen smile on their faces. Their voices are metallic, as if they were robots following a program, faking laughs. Just thinking about it sends chills to my spine. It's simply disturbing. They don't look dangerous, but the symbol of the idea of something so strange, so unreal, shakes my very heart. My mind struggles to comprehend it while my heart feels heavy with anxiety. Where I am, where I am, where I am. Oh, I know why it's like this, because it was originally written in Spanish. I remember this. It was, I think if I'm right, it was originally written in Spanish and where I am means where am I in Spanish. And it's, these spelling mistakes aren't on purpose, they're because it's Spanish. So, um, yeah, that, that's why I just realised. That's why it's where I am, where I am, where I am, because it's been translated. And in Spanish, where am I is where I am in English. Sorry, I'm just getting a message. Um, but yeah, it's, it's Spanish. It's originally in Spanish. That's why it's Espanol, English. I can't stop making myself that question. I simply can't accept what is what there is in front of my eyes. Everything this night has been strange, impressible, impressible, confusing, magical even. But none of that compares to this place. Just here, in the middle of a park, watching people have fun is enough for me to say. There is a scenery of the deform, unreal world. Oh, suddenly an exclaimed voice near me. Suddenly exclaimed a voice near me. I tremble from the surprise, turning instantly towards it. A feminine voice. Well, 
well, what is a real one doing around there? Said one of those strange beings, standing right next to me. I didn't realise when it appeared, but I'm not very surprised, seeing as I was very distracted. She's wearing a mask with a big smile, more malicious than happy. She looks at my <laughs> she looks at my face me from above. I almost jumped, surprised from the impression, then quickly stand up. What? Me? Nothing. Don't pay attention to me. Just ignore me. Was my poor answer. Said so nervously that it would make a lie detector laugh. Curiously, she laughs too, covering the mouth of the mask with both hands for a second. How normal are you? She exclaimed before laughing again. I have no idea what she means. Normal? I repeated, confused. The way she talks doesn't tell me it's a good or bad thing. Yes, yes, normal. Something strange here. Too strange. Non-existent, to be honest. But funny enough, it's still called normal. How can you still call something normal if it doesn't exist here? Do you know? After saying that, the master still stares at me. I may not be able to see her eyes, but I can feel her piercing look. Suddenly I feel a chill run down my spine. Hmm. She exclaimed impatient. At the same time, she tilts her head. Well, I guess it because... I guess it could be because at some point it was normal and the name stuck to it. I have no idea what I'm saying, just the first thing that crossed my mind. The masked doll takes a step forward and then covers her face with both hands. Seeing her do that fills my heart with anxiety. I just don't know what to expect. Correct, that is exactly what happened. She suddenly said, almost making me jump. I got scared at how excited she sounded. And then she puts her hands together as if she was praying. Well, since you answered my question, I'll answer one of yours. I blink, my lips move with no sounds coming from them. Questions I have plenty, but I don't know which one to make first. However, that wasn't necessary. This place is known for the Kingdom of, of the Kingdom of the Sun, and what you see now are its inhabitants. They have no name, but as you can see, they are no human or animal. She said, talking with perfect calm, as if she could read my mind. I shiver after hearing her, then turn around to the strange a being that continued playing as if nothing else mattered. After a couple of seconds, I looked back at the masked doll. Why didn't you wait for me to ask a question? I blinked, confused. I'm not angry, I'm just curious. Because there was no need for it at all. All visitors asked the same. The masked doll takes a step closer, reducing the distance between the two. It makes me feel slightly uncomfortable. Since I don't have a name, I won't ask for yours. This place is... Weird. It's an unreal world, and for that very reason the inhabitants can't see anything that is real. They can't see you. They can't see me. I interrupt her with that question. Suddenly I feel cold. It's not a chill. It's more as if someone has stolen all the heat from my body. I feel a big hole in my heart, not knowing why. The masked doll shakes her head side to side. No, no one can do it except for me, because I am very, very special. After saying that, she covers her lips with both hands and pretends to laugh. I don't know if she was trying to be funny but it's uncomfortable for me. Then she fixes her eyes on me. I tremble, surprised. It makes no sense, but even while wearing a mask, I can tell what her expression is, or at least imagine it. However, there is, no, there is another person here who can see you. The only person who can help you with your problems. After saying that, she plays with her fingers. It seems she can't remain still for a moment, but I feel like she does that only because she's in front of me. In other words, is toying with me. How do you know I have problems? Because you're a real one in a world where nothing is real. You don't belong here and will never do. A fish outside of water has big problems, and you were that fish right now. After saying that, she pretends to laugh again. My heart instantly becomes heavy with anxiety. There is a part of me that understands what it means. In silence, I look away to see my surroundings one more time. It is impossible for me to feel at home in a world like this, no matter how much time passes. And honestly, I hope not much time. I would like to get out and go back to where I belong as soon as possible. I blink and look back at her, who remains completely still as if she eternally turned stone. I swallow saliva and try to ignore it. I'm gonna leave it at that, because I'm gonna save it. So let's save it. Boom. We are done, we saved it. Yes, we wanna overwrite that save. There we go, we have saved it. Right. The video is 
honestly, I love that novel. It's so good. I love getting to like know the characters and meet new characters, and I love how it's Spanish because I can read Spanish. So I've left the Spanish one to the side for me to play by myself. So I am doing the English one for all you English viewers because I know that I have mainly English viewers. So. I decided to read the English one. So I'm wearing my glasses and I can take them off now. But, oh jeez. Um, but yeah, um, I had to read, here's my glasses, otherwise I can't read properly anymore. Because my eyesight's gotten terrible! Ugh! Oh, and I bought a new Harry Potter shirt. Yeah, and I also bought some slippers, some Gryffindor slippers, because Gryffindor got a win. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like that video, splat that like button and sizzle that subscribe button. And I'll see all you dudes in the next one! Bye! Thank you.